Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessAtrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. So crazy day, right? Crazy, crazy day. So this is where 24 hours after the biggest decline uh, since 2008, right? And it, if you watched the video last night, there was a couple of things going through my mind, right? Obviously, everything's on the table uh, you go back to the video, we kind of said, listen, can I see a market going up today a thousand points? Sure. Again, we went down 2,000, snap back up a thousands. It's not out of the possibilities, okay? Uh, the problem is when we woke up this morning, okay, uh, when I said possible rally up a thousand, I didn't think it was going to come before I woke up this morning, okay? And when I was thinking about it possibly, you know, gapping up two, three hundred points, we hit supply, we roll over, we go back lower. So I had my game plan. We gap up, I think everything turns around, we go red on the day. Uh, and if we gap down, I think there, there's a washout, we start rallying back up. Again, in my wildest dreams, um, I didn't think I was going to wake up this morning and see the futures up a thousand points. The one thing that I said right away was anybody who, who bought the open was going to lose money. It, it was, it was a, a certainty. And any time you get a market that gaps up, especially in a bear scenario, and we've been saying this constantly over and over again, um, you're going to run into supply. And any, everybody who, anybody who bought the open lost money. Because again, if here's, the, here's the market, right? Gapped up right into supply and the queues went red, right? Thousand points gone, thousand points out of the money. And now before you turn around and say, wow, it must have been a phenomenal day, right? Phenomenal day. You had the game plan. You were ready for it. You must have done great. Well, let me say this much, right? Let me say this much. Not every single game plan is good or bad, okay? Um, the, I had a lot more value yesterday when the market uh, gapped down 1,000 points to the long side of all things, right? than I had today on, t on, on today's session, okay? And if you notice the sell-off today off of supply, it was like this. And what I mean by that, it was almost like an EKG machine. And if you saw the spreads on some of these names today, you would have been like, this is absolutely insane. Like every single time we ticked up, they rallied back $3. Every time they ticked down, they just kept on spreading down these stocks over and over again. So I was just sitting there and I'm like, oh, I see everything happening. The game plan is working. Well, what the hell is going on? So I said, you know what? Let me give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. You know, let me, let me see what happens here. So my first trade of the day, um, NVAX came out with some news. And I said, you know what? Let me remount a, sh a very strong stock. It came out with news, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so cool. So the stock goes down. The stock goes down into rising support. I get long the stock. Goes up like 10 cents. Nothing, right? Goes up like 10 cents. There's a massive reload buyer, a ma massive reload seller in the stock. Wind up losing a dime on the trade. Okay, whatever, no big deal. Okay, futures start coming back in, right? Futures start coming back in aggressively. And I turn around and I say, all right, you know what? If market's coming in, here's my game plan. Roku 9680, 9660, if it builds below, it can flush. Okay, no problem. So I get short Roku, right? Now you're gonna turn around and say, wow, that was a great trade, right? Great trade, here's a 9660, excuse me, here's a 9660, right? If it builds below, it can flush, right? Stock goes down to 9275, what's the problem? So I get short the stock, it goes down like 30, 40 cents, and then all of a sudden you see this big, remember what I was talking about, like the EKG machine? So you get this big spike in futures, right? Big spike in futures, and I was like, okay, I don't wanna get caught short, let me take off the trade. You know, I wound up losing 28 cents. Again, nothing, right? It's, it's, it's not even a conversational piece. Nothing's going on. I was like, okay, no big deal, right? We start rallying, start rallying, start rallying. And then all of a sudden, Roku turns around as the market rallies, da 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 gets destroyed. I never get back into the trade. And then I'm watching the market, I'm watching the market, I'm starting to see things slowly but surely get weaker and slowly but surely get stronger. So I lose some money on Roku, Lost a cup of coffee on NVAX. Now I'm just annoyed because I can't figure out what's going on. But my game plan is playing out. 
So then I get Long Apple, right? I get Long Apple and that's fine, right? I get Long Apple and we sell it right into supply. All right, made back my, you know, made back my losses. But again, the market starts doing this freaking EKG machine. And slowly but surely, I start losing interest because little by little, the market, I felt like the market was kind of slow playing us. I felt like the market wasn't going down enough and I felt like it wasn't rallying enough. So I'm sitting there and I go, and I actually made a very, very good conscious decision. I turned around, I said, you know what? I don't want a piece of this, right? This is like an hour, hour and a half into the, into the day. And I made a conscious decision because if you guys remember last, if you guys remember last, fr uh, last Tuesday, when they came out with surprising rates, I made some money and then I gave it all back because the market was just unsettling. There was a lot of, uh, there was a lot of technical damage. I said, you know what? I don't want any of these pieces. I'd rather just sit here. I got a cup of coffee in my hand. I don't want any piece of it. And for the next three hours or so, you got nothing. You got nothing from the tape and the market kept on going up and down and up and down and up and down. And this is all in the same candle. And again, were there things in between to do? There was, you know, Disney went green to red, got smacked down at a dollar and a half. I didn't trade it again. At this point, I kind of disconnected myself with the day. I really did. But the one trade that I knew, the, the, the trade that I knew that it was kind of my, my exit stage love trade, okay? You see this pivot right here, 633, right? 633, if it builds below, can flush, experienced traders only, okay? Tesla went red on the day, okay? Tesla went red on the day. And because the market was moving like a freaking EKG machine that I just couldn't get, I just couldn't get a sense. And I got, I mean, literally got short right here, right? I literally got short right here. And it, I just couldn't figure it out. I was going up a dollar, down a dollar, up a dollar, down. And I'm watching the futures explode and there's reload buyers because it's on, it's on SSR. And I'm like, ah, I don't want to get squeezed for five, six points, blah, 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 blah. So I wind up covering Tesla, literally made a cup of coffee. And then the futures start tanking and I watch the stock literally go down 25 points. So at this point, I'm just, you know, I'm like, all right, you know, I, I, I see where I'm beaten. Um, you know, I see where I'm beaten. I'm going to take my cup of coffee and I'm going to go home, right? I'm going to go home. And ironically, later I bought this little stock. I made some money in this little stock, but I said at the, you know, at the end of the day, it's just not for me. And at some point of your trading career, you have to know, you know, you really have to know when it's not your day. Okay. Whether it's you're trading poorly, you're not seeing the market the right way. Okay. Or, okay, or it's just as simple as you can't get that technical edge. And today was kind of one of those days that I just couldn't get my technical edge, okay? Um, I couldn't get my technical edge. There was nothing about, uh, nothing about the day in the first three hours that I was dying to do, okay? And the moral of the story is I just couldn't get going. But that's okay, right? That's okay. We always talk about uh, playing premium hands. We always talk about the ability to know when you are faced with an AK-47 as you're holding a butter knife, right? Today, I looked at the market. The game plan, you know, played out perfectly. I couldn't capitalize. I just couldn't capitalize. It was too ner uh, jerky nerky, whatever the hell it is called. Too big of a spread, too many whips. And I said, you know what? Let me excuse myself. I'm going to stay in the sidelines. And I kind of lost interest in the day, right? I kind of lost interest in the day. And at the end of the day, you know what? I was okay with that because I, I, I say all the time, again, the market is not there to pacify us, okay? It's not there to, um, you know, to, to entitle us to do anything. It's, it's there, again, to separate us. And if this was 10, 15 years ago, I would have kept on trading and trading, trading in the morning, and I would have probably got chopped up. And by the time the afternoon came up, and we had this really, really aggressive reversal, right? We had this massive reversal uh, all the way back to the upside. I would have probably found myself in a very, very, you know, normal situation that a lot of traders are that they're trying to desperately make back their gains. They're mentally shot. They've burnt their mental equity. And the moral of the story is they're probably trading a lot emotionally. As much as I watch the market go up 1,100 points, I know what? I'm okay with that. You know what I mean? And I, I think at certain at, at a certain point of your career, when you get to that level, that the fear of me, you know, the fear of missing out kind of goes away. Okay. And you're so comfortable in your own skin that say, you know what? 
I'm holding that 2-9 offsuit. I know I'm playing against Phil Ivey, my opponent on the other side of the table, with an AK-47. I'm holding a wooden spoon. I just know this is not going to be my day, right? I know this is not going to be my day. Um, and again, flat is good. Up a little bit, down a little bit, it doesn't make a difference. As long as you're seeing the market the proper way, as long as you are putting yourself in a situation that you know you did everything to protect your capital, protect your mental capital, the next day will always give you better, better value, right? The next day will always give you better value, and that's the name of the game. Uh, and that's really the name of the game. It's all about putting yourself in a situation, right? Putting yourself in a situation that, and I apologize, I, I'm just trading out of something here. Um, the market will definitely put you in a situation that you are going with aggression instead of trading passively. And that's the game, you know what I mean? And that's, it, and that's obviously the game. So uh, make sure, again, no matter where you're trading, no matter how you're trading, put yourself in a situation that you will always be um, the predator, not the prey. So going into tomorrow, again, I mean, what are we going to say technically, right? I mean, what are we going to talk about technically? Technically, you could turn around and make two cases, right? The first case is this is an inside day from yesterday's move, right? The Dow was down. The Dow was down, um, what was it down? The Dow was down uh, 2,000 points yesterday. It was up 1,000 points today. Okay. Um, Trump is speaking at 5.30. So this is, uh, I'm recording this ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm recording this ahead of the, of the, of the announcement. Uh, he's proposing some tax relief on something. Oh, there's been such a long day. I don't even remember. I think it's payroll, tax payroll, obviously something uh, that's going to help, uh, to help the economy out. Again, these virus news are everywhere. This is this is coronavirus overload. This is where I wish that there just wasn't so much news dissemination to it's just overwhelming already. It's just incredibly overwhelming. And the most important part of this, I don't need to know every single time Joe from Wichita, Kansas has the sniffles and possibly has a is is a we get it, man. We get it. It's serious. We get it. But I think, man, it's just all these news services are disseminated into nausea already, into absolute nausea that you can't blink without a, without a headline and it's getting a little bit too much. But again, that's the world we in. Again, we live in. And again, you can make all you know, the comparisons to the flu, blah, blah, blah. 40 million people die from the flu. Three people die from coronavirus. I'm obviously joking. Uh, but, but again, the problem is we know what the flu is. There's flu shots. Again, they're not 100 percent effective. I think this year was like 45 percent. But at least we know what we are. This is still the unknown. And until we still see the unknown, right, until we're still in the unknown market, we're still going to put, put ourselves in a position that the cloud of uncertainty is over us. So, again, can we gap down tomorrow 900 points? Absolutely. And, again, if it was up to me in a weird way, if it was up to me, because, again, I'm going home flat pretty much every single day. If, if it's up to me, okay, if it's up to me, um, I hope we get a gap down. I, I really do. I hope we get a gap down because, again, the value for the last two, three weeks has been to the upside, right? It just absolutely has been to the upside. Uh, when the market gaps, you know, 500, 1,000 points, you're looking for that reversal. But sometimes these reversals, like we saw today, came on one candle like this, right? And again, I don't know about you, but, but again, I can't be in a trade that does this, right? I, I, you know, the EKG trade is, is not for me because, again, the liquidity sucks. The spreads are big, and, and again, I'm not going to sit there and pay five, six dollars on a trade when I can't control my risk. It doesn't make sense. So I made the I made the conscious choice. I got out of the way. Blah 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 blah. Uh, if you caught these trades, congratulations. Uh, I put in a pivot uh, in the afternoon. Uh, I put in a pivot uh, today. A couple pivots in the afternoon. This thing ran up about four dollars. Uh, TDOC ran up about four bucks. Uh, Netflix obviously never got below three fifty sixty, but the upside pivot did. Uh, 358 needs to build, and here was the, the the move on Netflix. At this point, I was already I was already far re removed. So here was the 358.50, right? 358 bid here, and it just absolutely exploded uh, into the 364 area. So tomorrow, you know, I'm hoping we get some sort of uh, down open, or if we're gonna get an up open, I hope it's less than 300 points. A again, it's so hard. It really is so hard if you're coming in with a, a game plan when the market opens up a thousand points you, you you know you have to almost rewire yourself to say to yourself well i'm expecting a pullback but at some point right at some point there could be a macro news an announcement 
Um, macro news announcement is going to, to blow out the water. So today was a very, very tricky day. And as I say, not all 1,000-point rallies are similar and not all 2,000-point uh, declines are bad. Yesterday was an incredible day. Today, ugh, I wanted to choke myself and I wanted to kind of just end it uh, by around lunchtime. So let me give you guys uh, some ideas uh, for tomorrow just in case, right? Just in case we have kind of a follow-up rally. Um, you got to look at the cruise ships, um, you know, got to look at the cruise ships, um, you know, Royal Caribbean, massive, massive decline. You know, you want to start looking at, the, at this range right here. If it starts clearing out a range, you know, maybe you could start, you know, moving up, you know, a couple of bucks here. Um, you know, I like this Royal Caribbean. Let's see what else I kind of like here. Um, let me see what else I kind of like here. You know, Facebook, you know, Facebook, if we continue the rally, uh, if we can, if we see the rally here again above this channel here, if Facebook starts building above this channel, you know, there's two, three bucks in the trade there as well. Um, let me see what else I like here. Uh, let me see what else here I like. Um, you know, I like the airlines. If, if we get another bounce, right? You know, Dallas Semiconductor. If it starts clearing out the top of this range right here, you know, maybe reclaiming that 46 level. Uh, maybe it could go as well. Uh, Chipotle, again, if there's another one-day rally against some of these restaurant stocks, could jump back. If it starts you know, rebuilding 705, 707 area, if we get one more rally, you know, one more day rally, who knows, maybe it goes into the 730s. But again, again, you have to be limber. You know, you have to be limber. You have to be open-minded. Uh, today was just a day I just, you know, I just wanted to be over by, you know, by, by lunchtime, not because it was this massacre day. No, it wasn't. It's just one of those confusing, I couldn't get a pulse. I couldn't get into rhythm in the market. And the most important part is I watched my whole game plan come into fruition and I didn't capitalize it. And it sucks. But again, let that be the worst uh, day uh, possible. Guys, have a great night, everybody. Again, tomorrow we should get better value. I'm kind of hoping we get a little bit of a gap down. You know, three to 400 points. I'm just joking. Any gap down will be good. The value will be to the upside. And hopefully we'll get a lot more seamless days uh, like we did yesterday compared to today. Guys, God bless. And I will see you all tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.